Welcome to International Student Series. In this series, we gather five international students with different culture and background to share their experience. For this episode, we will discuss about student life in Canada. Things are still very similar to what I expected. I always heard about how safe, friendly and I guess clean the environment here in Vancouver. One of the most cleanest cities in the world. You see a lot of natural things like the mountains, you can go hiking, uh, parks and stuff. Basically it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful place. In the summer you can go to the mountain to hiking and then in the winter you can still go to the mountain but you can go ski. Like the weather in Vancouver is pretty good for people who prefer like outdoor activity. This kind of weather is what I was looking for. Um, so the city has been a safe place, just like I thought it would be. It has been very friendly. People here are generally really nice and friendly and you can always ask for help on the way. A uh, combination of the uh, also Asian cuisine. On the street and I see like a ramen place of Vietnamese pho or uh, Indian places and you don't see that very often. Before I come here I always imagine how can I survive in here alone? It is a new experience because now I'm like really by myself. I was kind of nervous about coming here and not being able to do well academically. Maybe I will be really uh, busy with study and then with my part-time job as well. Every other international student who are able to see this video, I would just say that don't be nervous. Just put your best and effort into it and you will be easily catch up. Everybody goes through that uh, homesickness and that uh, you start missing your family. Everybody always misses home whenever you're living in another country. Oh, it's Lunar New Year holiday in Vietnam and other Asian countries as well. And for sure, like usually Lunar New Year is the time you spend with your families. But uh, I'm just here alone and then cannot enjoy it. And it's been like four years I miss the chance to go back in Lunar New Year to celebrate with my families. So yeah, because of that, it's made me feel kind of homesick. You know, a father always misses his daughters. So, but you know, these days you can easily talk to them. There's video calling, you can call, you can talk to them and you can see them because of this new technology. Creating your home away from home in the new place where you're living, it's very important. Probably will help you meet people that share your same ideas or your same interests as well and therefore you will feel less lonely. Good experience to uh, find out more about different cultures. It definitely helps you grow, grow as a person, as an individual, as a professional. Step Take out, out of your, your comfort, comfort zone. zone and then you can learn something new or do something that you haven't done before and from that you can improve more and you can be a better version of yourself. Would you say it is necessary for younger generation if they are given the opportunity to go abroad? Yes, yes. yes. definitely yes. It's a challenge that every young generation can take and actually improve themselves a lot in terms of communicating, skill, knowledge. You will discover a lot of things about yourself that you didn't even knew that you were capable of. Challenging to actually balance between being a full-time student and also having like three part-time jobs at the same time.